zesty this one's called. Here we have a Middle. thick and zesty tomato and onion. Oh yeah, thick and zesty, hot and spicy. Oh, that was almost a mess. So that puts us just over nine pounds minus the bowl. The rest of the pass is cooking and we have the meatballs in the oven. Last but not least, thick and zesty. Tomato basil, which puts us at 10 and a half pounds. Let's see the weight of these meatballs. One pound, two and a half ounces. 11 pounds, and 10 ounces. And the last steaming bowl of super hot pasta. Two pounds, three ounces. Bring our total weight up to 13 pounds, 13 ounces. Yeah, that's pretty ironic actually. Yeah. So 1313. 13. I need three more ounces to make it 14 pounds. I'm gonna throw in a carrot. With the accoutre amount, we're gonna have a big carrot, which weighs eight ounces. So this is officially almost 14 and a half pounds of pasta. This thing is huge. I'm trying to stir it up and not make a mess is a task in itself. 14 massive pounds of pasta in this huge dish. So we're gonna see if we can even eat 14 pounds of pasta, and if we can, how long it will take us to eat this massive dish. So without further ado, let's get going, let's eat some pasta. All right, so there's no time limits or anything, it's just see if we can even do this and how fast we can do it if we can. All right, we've got my computer, this will act as our timer today. I'm gonna take my pants off. I have shorts underneath, don't worry. All right, let's do this, everybody. Let's get rolling. Let's start the count of, let's say five, four, three. Time's going. Let's eat some pasta. That's a meatball. I better start with carrot. I ate about half of it. It took me a whole minute. Let's eat some pasta. I don't think you can really fathom how big this is. It's in a freaking turkey roaster. It's full. There's over a thousand carbohydrates in this. This is crazy. Should cook the pasta longer too. I left it quite firm, which is normally my preference, but uh, that's a lot of pasta. About seven minutes in. Oh boy. I feel this cool off. It's very hot, well, quite hot, which is really heating me up. I've had quite a lot of people tell me or be like, yo, Joel, do a pasta challenge, do a pasta challenge. And before I always said no. <clears throat> and now I understand why I always said no. <clears throat> oh, boy. It's just hot. Really like I'm, I'm heating up. Just 
Just drove 11 minutes in. Woo. I mean, I think I can at least successfully say we're at least half done. I think we're a little more, but I'm just blazing up. I shouldn't have wore long sleeves and should I cool down a little bit more. Four minutes in. I do a few bites left. Woo. You know, some chewing a lot more. Just a lot of like, kind of like flavor fatigue redundancy at this point. I still have a bit of room, but up here it's harder. Seven and a half minutes. That's a lot of pasta, a lot of flavor fatigue. <clears throat> I 
first was really hot. And then by the end, like some of the past was just cold and enjoyable, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was a heck of a challenge. So I basically did what Jeff Esper did. Um, he cooked, he had three pounds of uncooked pasta, that's what I did. Four cans of sauce, that's what I did as well. Um, my meatballs, I didn't have as many meatballs as he has. I think he said it was three pounds. I believe it was post, post cooked weight. Or mine were uh, just over a pound or a pound a bit uh, post cooked weight. So he had about two more pounds of me. So yeah, anyway, this passage challenge. Hope you enjoyed it. I finally did it. You guys have been asking for one, so there we go. And uh, maybe I'll enjoy some a piece of dessert now. I just, no more pasta. Ah, tomato sauce? Ugh. Right now, it just doesn't seem sound palatable or enjoyable at all. But I hope you enjoyed. There we go. So 27 and a half minutes, so I know. Oh my gosh, I forgot to eat the carrot. I mean, the pasta was like, was it three ounces short of 40 pounds? I ate half the carrot, that'd be 40 pounds. I'll, I'll have another bite of that. Let's get some for dessert. Something tastes better than this. Let me find some. So we grabbed a few things. so good right now. Got a few of my awesome candies that came from Switzerland. From our awesome friend Steven in Switzerland. He sent me a whole bunch of goodies which you're gonna see and hear a lot about. It's an absolutely epic video. At Christmas. It's like a Christmas special. Featuring literally all of Switzerland. I basically eat all of Switzerland. It's impressive. This too is a uh, Kinder Choco Bomb. Here we go. Like chocolate. With this white creamy filling inside. And then a hazelnut bitch. Here we have Kinder Country. Which is very similar to the chocolate bar I just had. Except. It also has like puffed wheat or buckwheat pieces in it. You gotta see the texture. So it's like, yeah, you can see it there. It's like basically the same, but with a piece of puffed wheat in it. This is definitely something I've never seen in North America. I mean, it's very different, very different flavor. It really changes it. Change the flavor profile. We have this Munz Munz bar, which is absolutely delicious. I'm pretty sure it's like white chocolate covering hazelnut stuff. That. That was really good. It's soft, it's creamy. It's delicious. Those are very sweet. Anything but pasta right now. So it's appetizing. Here's some called a risoletto. Which, in a way, it kind of reminds me of a uh, kind of like a. It kind of reminds me of a Wonder Bar, not like the taste, but it's chocolate 
and you have kind of a crunchy bit, crunchy bit. But this is like caramel. Like I said, I'll tell you all about these things in an upcoming video. We'll have the flavors of all these. Stephen packs some really delicious items. Mm. I fill it up though, I'll tell you that much. I need to go take a nap. I feel very hot. We have um, some toffees. Toffees. Which are delicious. I hate some of that chocolate, caramel, and nougat. These we have North America. But, so delicious. Middle. I just want to see that here, so I'm a nut and caramel chocolate. What about Raffaello? Which is kind of like a for our actually about coconut, which are delicious. But very sweet. Very sweet. But very good. But if I say something sweet, something's really sweet. It's like a white ball covered in coconut. I'm going to show you the center by the mark. Alright, anyway, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed everybody. Delicious food. Wow, delicious snacks. Pass is fine. Hope you enjoyed the video. With that, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry. Please comment down below, let me know what you think. Also, if you're not already, please feel free to subscribe. Check out my community tab, YouTube community tab for travel updates. And I hope to meet you all soon. You have to do.